Hello friends, uh, today we are going to understand what is UML and what is plant UML in this presentation. So let's get started. First of all, what is UML? UML is, uh, you know, in the software industry, it's, it's called Unified Modeling Language. So it's a general purpose uh, modeling language so that we can easily visualize our system. We can design our system before we can write any actual code. So it is very much useful for the software engineers, business professionals, system architects for, for doing the design and the analysis that how our software system components will be, you know, communicating with each other, what requests will be going where. So that's where we create, you know, different kinds of diagrams like flow charts. So we create activity diagrams, we create sequence diagrams, uh, we create, you know, class diagrams and all. So plant UML. Plant UML is, is a tool uh, which allows you for creating these diagrams automatically just by writing uh, text so it is text based which means you simply uh, whatever you want to say you simply write the text it will automatically generate the uml diagrams for you you know since it is test text based it's super easy uh, to you know maintain the version controls because it's in text you can easily up upgrade it uh, and maintain it in get or tfs uh, of course, keyboard typing is faster than the drag and <laughs> drag and drop, and it, it gives you more control uh, with you. And it can be easily integrated with the systems like, you know, be that lucid charts, IDs, CMS, and all. So, uh, all you need to do is uh, you will be writing certain code like this, you know, uh, like where you mention what is your actor and how the communication goes. Uh, and this suggests what kind of request it is and it will automatically generate these kinds of diagrams. So here is, uh, you know, one layout I have shown how the diagram will look like. So this is an example of a sequence diagram uh, where the request is going from user to, you know, uh, to get uh, get an authentication first. The request goes to backend and uh, from backend to database. Uh, I'll showcase the demo ahead. Uh, it also supports uh, class diagrams, like I said, and uh, it's very easy to get started with the plant UML. All you need to have is, uh, you know, JDK installed. Uh, it's good to have VS Code editor installed because uh, VS Code uh, allows you, uh, you know, provides you some uh, some intelligence and provides you a plant UML extension. You can install a plant UML extension within the VS Code and simply start writing. So let's see here uh, how it goes. So let me simply play this video. So I'm having a Visual Studio code already installed. I'm opening a folder here. So all you need to do is you need to ensure that you should have a plant UML extension installed here, which I'm having this plant UML from Jibs already installed on my system. So all you need to create is let's say, let us create our first UML diagram. Let us say it is my first UML dot WSD should be the extension of this file. Then uh, it is pretty simple. You can start by writing start UML yes, and then uh, let's say the actor is a user. No. Uh, user will send a request to a participant which is uh, let's say a back-end service you know and the database is let's say data store right so here uh, then you can do end UML and Let's say the request goes from user to, you know, uh, user to backend. It sends a, let's say, uh, let's say it says sends a HTTP request. 
send HTTP request to get info right so what you can do is simply press alt D to see the preview along with there you go All right on the right side you can see that for the actor it has automatically <coughs> created a user for the participant it's created backend but there is no conversation no uh, arrows from backend to data store so let's say it will the request will further go from backend to sorry from user to yeah backend to database which is data store right uh, check in db i would say right and uh, then let's say the database says yes the information is found it will send back response <coughs> success response and uh, backend will further give user you know, show user detail let's say right so that's how easy it is there you go <coughs> i'm sorry so uh, you understood right uh, it is uh, on the left side i'm simply writing the text here start uml end uml and within that you write your code uh, which is pretty simple saying actor and participant in database and then you simply point this uh, hyphen and a greater than sign uh, to point where the request goes from what user to what uh, from where to where it goes and uh, with the colon you send the request name uh, which is shown here on the top of this arrow and uh, for showcasing this uh, preview all you need to do is press alt d uh, so vs code you know remember install the extension have the jdk installed and it will work for you that's how simple it is so friends what are you waiting for let's start creating diagrams you know using plant uml thank you very much